On June the 25th, the crew had been instructed to test the manual docking system again. Sasha filmed Vasily during the events that followed. He wasn't happy with the first attempt they'd made. He said this was a terrible event. He uses the word strash. It was, it was a nightmarish event that haunted him in a way. He wasn't any longer sure in his ability to pull this off. The crew had spent the previous weeks packing another Progress cargo ship with Mir's rubbish. They were told to send the heavily laden Progress out into space and, as before, turn it around and redock it manually. I was totally ignorant of what they were doing. I had no idea what they were doing. No one at NASA knew what the Russians were doing. Once again, Vasily only had the monitor as his guide. This time, Mission Control was worried that the radar on the automatic docking system had caused the monitor to fail during the previous manual attempt. So they made a crucial decision. They switched the radar off. I'm still thinking everything's normal because no one has told me anything about what systems were turned off or on. Without the radar, Vasily wasn't given the cargo ship's speed or position. His only aid was the TV picture of Mir taken from progress. But Mir was almost impossible to see. Sasha and I, meanwhile, tried to look out a window and find this thing. They planned to pinpoint the cargo ship with laser rangefinders pointed out of the portholes to give Vasily backup distance and speed information. Vasily now was showing a little impatience for us to find it and see it and give him a range mark. Sasha had left his camera pointed at the Toru monitor. This recording from his camera has just been released to Horizon. Things had gone wrong, very badly wrong. The range and the speed had been horribly misjudged. Sasha looked extremely agitated, stood up and well, floats, came erect and said, Michael, the corable to the spacecraft. I said, Michael, the corable. Michael, from there, that order that Sasha gave me, the Karabal, don't stay and try and help us, don't let us use your expertise, don't let us do anything with you, just get out of our way to the spacecraft. I felt through my fingers a shudder, a thump on the station, and I heard what seemed to be far off, a ka-thump. At that point, I knew we had been hit by the progress. I immediately started the signal, the signal of the station, I started to fall down, and I started to close the station. The progress had smashed into the solar panels, Mir was now slowly spinning out of control, and decompression had begun. Для этого нужно было определить резервное время, которое есть на случай разминизации. Давление 540 это миллиметр ртутного столба, которое является критическим в этой ситуации. После этого давления, если оно ниже упало и мы не покинули станции, то 
человек он может потерять сознание в любой момент. Саша thought he'd seen the progress punch a hole in one of Mir's modules called Spectre. He knew he had to seal off the Spectre module or the loss of air would kill them. Было чувство времени вот такое. Причем вот какая-то шла борьба. Вот надо быстрее быстрее по времени успеть обогнать время. Vasily was basically monitoring the pressure fall on a very sensitive instrument, a barometer, in the base block, and it stayed at his central post there. While he was doing that, we came um, into the range of the ground stations, the Russian ground station. He told them that we had been hit. They asked him, is there a problem? He said, yes, we are leaking air. <laughs> разгромизация станции, то у меня сложилось впечатление, что это происходит не со мной, происходит как будто со сторонним наблюдателем. Сразу бегают мурашки по коже и кажется, что как проснуться бы от страшного сна. То есть, что такое быть просто физически не может. The interpreter gets a funny look on his face and just looks at me and says, they hit something, just a very plain of day ordinary tone. So I'm thinking, you know, you know, maybe the crew hit their hand with a hammer or, you know, something plain like that. But then, of course, I ask him, you know, what do you mean they hit something? Explain a little bit. And he says, oh, well, the progress hit the space station. I was asleep again. And um, one of the, another one of those middle-of-the-night phone calls, which uh, had seemed to be coming too regularly. And this time they said that uh, the progress hit the mirror. And they said there's a leak. Uh, they think it's inspector, they're closing the hatch, and of course my next question is how in the world could this possibly have happened? When I was back on the ground and heard of that accident, it was about a month after I got back. Uh, terrible news. I remember how they came to the children at once. Maybe they didn't understand the danger того, что случилось, может быть, моя реакция как-то вот повлияла на них, но они были совершенно тихие и как мышки. Они... On Mir, Michael and Sasha had to close the hatch between the main module and Spectre to stop the decompression. To do this, they were forced to disconnect the power cables running through the hatchway. For the first time, I experienced a totally silent, still space station where there are no fans moving, there is no light on, nothing is alive. Just our breathing is causing any sound. With Mia out of control, they couldn't keep the solar panels facing the sun. Everything had shut down, even radio contact with Earth. 